Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to move this site at project.highline uh, CSI201 to the main URL, Highline CSI201, where I already have a, a site sitting there. I'm going to destroy that. Uh, we're going to use a backup and migration plugin that I use all the time. It's a paid plugin, and I've put it up in Canvas for you to use. Uh, there are lots of plugins to help you um, with backup and migration. This one just happens to be um, one of the fastest uh, when it works. Uh, and it has, works about 90% of the time. Sometimes a server, there'll be a server error or something, or some server setting that needs to be adjusted with this plugin. But uh, we use it a lot at work and get things migrated in about five to 10 minutes. So, uh, first thing we're going to want to do is, and it's best to start um, with a clean slate. So, I'm going to go into C panel and destroy um, all the files for the main site. All right, and I'll do that in the file manager. Things are a little slow on the server, okay. All right, and my main site is here. These are all my subdomain folders. I don't want to delete those. So if I just highlight all these, I've got to be careful about this. Okay, those are our subdomains, and uh, let's see, delete. The WordPress installation. Okay, cool. The other thing we need, uh, you're probably going to have a brand new database uh, wherever you move it to, um, where you're going to have to create a uh, new database user, uh, database name, database password, assign the user to the database. Uh, so I have one here in PHP. It's this, uh, this one here. If you're going to a database that's already populated, you're going to want to clear all the database tables. Backup Buddy will have a problem with that sometimes. Um, and what you do is you drop, you select all and drop the tables. Okay, so I have a, a clear database and um, a clear file structure to work with. Okay, next thing you're going to do on the site that you want to be migrated is to log into the dashboard. And we're going to add the plugin Backup Buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll go to plugins. We'll add new, and this will become you can't get this through the uh um from the WordPress uh, uh repository. Um you can get it, I'm sure what, what I mean directory, WordPress plugin directory. I always call it a repository. Uh you're gonna have to upload it as a zip file. So you go this route. And somewhere on my computer is a Backup Buddy zip, this one right here. Okay, sometimes this is where you'll uh, get a fail with the server right here. There'll be some error, uh, in, in which case you might need to call the web host. All right, and let's activate the plugin. Okay, so we'll then go to the Backup Buddy tab here, and we are going to go to Backup. And I think what happens on the first time you install this, you're going to get a Setup screen here as opposed to this Backup. And there'll be an option, a gray button at the bottom to say Skip the Setup Wizard. Click on that, and you should come to this screen. Uh, so we're going to do a complete Backup, and hopefully this won't take too long. It depends on number of images and such like that. Uh, uh, quite often your zip file from this is... For probably for your websites, it's probably going to be about 30 to 40 meg. Uh, but this one is going pretty quickly. And I'm going to, oh, there we go. It took all of 10 seconds for a 35 meg zip file. Uh, right, so you download, click the download, and it'll bring it to your computer. I will pause the video while this downloads. Okay, so that took about three minutes for to download. Uh, inside of this zip folder is all the files of your site, as well as a bunch of files that are SQL files for your database. So actually, from this file here, um, you will be able to recreate your site. However, we're going to use a, a script, an import script, or migration script, uh, to actually do the unzipping and all the other uh, work, changing the URLs. Uh, and it's going to take us through a formal process. So you'll go to Migrate and download the importbuddy.php script. 
It's going to ask you for a little password here. Just make it simple. It's going to ask you for this password shortly when we do the migration. So it's not a really a, not really a security issue as far as I know. Okay, and let's see, six, four, three, two, one. Boom. Okay, so that's all I need to do my import is an import buddy script and the backup. Okay, so now I go back into cPanel and I go into the file manager and I go to the web root of my new site, which will be under this public HTML with all my subdomains. I'm going to upload uh, the zip file and the import script right here. So we click on upload and I believe we could just drag these up here, hopefully. Okay, cool. And this one might take a little bit longer. And I'll pause it while this uploads. Okay, and it's uh, fully uploaded. Uh, let's go back to the file manager to see what we have. Okay, here's our zip file and our import script. Now this uh, is import buddy with this too. That's because I had a couple of them on my computer apparently, so it created a copy. So what I want to do is rename this. Oop, rename. Uh, I think that can it can cause a problem. I'm not sure if you uh, have an other something other than import buddy dot php. Okay. So now when I go back to what once was a site that I cleared, I should have. Here we go. Here's all my subdomain folders. Um, now you can simply click on import buddy.php or I could add, I could go directly there in the address um, bar, um, but let's just make it easy on myself. And you should get uh, a page like this and this is the beginning of the import buddy process. Uh, so I had created that simple password and here we go. No thank you. Okay, uh, at this point, Usually you don't have to do anything here if you've done things exactly as I've done. So store backup. Okay. Okay, so this is the most active, important uh, portion of the, the process. Uh, all your, your, you got to have all your database information ready for yourself. And in this case, um, my database server is still localhost. Some servers that you're on will have a a different uh, server name other than localhost and your web host should be able to provide that for you. Uh, the database name I have is WPDB. I have to spell this right. All right, and I have a user whose name is Highline underscore Larry, whose password is mysterious. Whoops, and let's keep the prefix the same and at this point uh, if you don't have these right it will let you know so let's move on okay that means I've uh, I've assigned my user to the database and I had my password correct mm -hmm. okay a fairly large database excellent all right uh, now it's going to do an adjustment for the change in URL. See here, I had project dot, and I'm going to just plain old Highline CSCI 201. Uh, this is very important, saves us a lot of time having to do this manually. For some reason, they hide this, and it's a good idea to double check this custom site address by clicking on op this optional button, because sometimes they screw up here. I don't know why. Okay, but that looks good. And we're almost done. So at this point, I should I can check out my site, and I should have an exact replica of this site here. Here's our original site, project dot. Okay, I want an exact replica. So if I go to, oh, I guess I should do it from the link here. Boom. There we go. And it's always a good idea to check out the links. Sometimes you'll see some of the old URLs in here if you've done it improperly. Uh, maybe look at some of the images. Make sure their image paths are actually on the new URL. Well, so I get to uh, do a video to Rachmaninoff. Cool. Oh, it's all over the place. All right. So I highly recommend you give that a try. I think the the first time you go through it with import uh, backup buddy and import buddy, you tend to run into a problem, usually just with your database settings. 
um, in the in the import buddy form. Uh, but be patient with it. If you screw up, um, delete your database again, delete all your files, and just take uh, the import buddy script and the uh, back, backup zip and just re-upload them. It usually only takes you a few minute, minutes, even though it's kind of a pain to redo things. But I think that's probably, it's been the most uh, precise um, use uh, migration tool that I've found. And it is, it is a premium tool, um, but you're allowed to use it. Anyway, your sites are worth backing up. Uh, please uh, get in touch with me if you're having problems. I will let you know in April when I cancel the server. Thank you.